Welcome back. We're going to teach you today how to pick out a good multiple vitamin. Now, Richard, to start yeah. this part of the discussion, what are the basic vitamins and minerals that we need to get? Because you can't pick one out unless yeah. you know what you're looking for. Well, every health expert I've ever talked to, read their writings, they all agree that America is a nation deplete of calcium. You know, okay. magnesium is just as important, uh, but calcium gets all the press. So. Uh, one of the problems with many multiple vitamin blends is they don't put the minerals in it. Oh. So your multiple vitamin and mineral, it's very important to get the calcium. And folks, for calcium to do its job, it has to be present with magnesium, copper, boron, selenium, all these trace minerals. Your body requires a recipe, just like when you're cooking with Lou. It needs a recipe, a level, a proportion of minerals so that they can all be used. For example, the enzyme that attaches to calcium in the intestinal tract and pulls it in so we can use it has magnesium at its core. So you have to have that complex, that symphony of, of minerals. Calcium, these minerals are so important. All the experts are now agreeing that the antioxidants are so important to prevent heart disease and cancer, age-related diseases, cataracts, all these different conditions. Vitamins A, C, E and the antioxidant minerals. The minerals are coming up again. Zinc and selenium are your antioxidant minerals. These are nutrients that the experts are telling us we're not getting enough of. The B vitamins, as we age, we don't absorb B12 as well. It's very important. Uh, folic acid and B12. Folic acid was in the news today for birth defects. If every American mother took folic acid, we could drop our birth defect rate by about 30%. Isn't that amazing? How about the vitamins D? The vitamin D, this is, for years, when I was in school, honey, they told us vitamin D is essential, but don't worry about it because the sun gives you all you need. And But you gotta be careful with that sun exposure. You don't want the skin cancer. And don't take too much because it can be toxic. And so they were saying 400 international units of D is all anybody ever needs. That has totally changed, folks. Now they're saying we need at least 800 to 1,000 international units of vitamin mm -hmm. D. And for those of us who work in an office, we're in a studio here. There's no sunlight in here. I can go hours without any sun. So, folks, the cancer rates are lower. Uh, the uh, multiple sclerosis rates are lower, uh, on and on with the vitamin D, so important for immunity. So be sure your multiple has the vitamin D, the omega-3s and omega-6s. This is the one essential nutrient that is typically not in a multiple vitamin, and the reason is very simple. People have called uh, us and asked this question. We have a dry complex of vitamins, a powder, a tablet, and these omega-3s are oils. If we mix those together, they spoil. So the omega-3s, omega-6s must be taken separately. It's a, it's a logistic problem, mm -hmm. but none of them are mm -hmm. combined together, and I wouldn't recommend you try to do that. And then the trace minerals. That's the stuff that the experts are telling us we're not getting enough of. Okay? Well, are, are all of our needs the same? I don't think they would be because <clears throat> we're all different humans. Well, that's a good question. The essential nutrients are the same from cradle to grave but the proportion of need changes as we age. A child's need for a quantity is different than a senior citizen's. So we must keep that in mind. Uh, are you in good health? Are you on certain medicines? Some medications require extra vitamins because they counter the effect of vitamin. You have to read your slip from the pharmacist. They typically tell you there if your medicines require supplementation. What about the problem with generic and premium brands? Many brands use synthetic vitamins, and the epidemiologic studies have shown over and over again our bodies use naturally occurring, normal, uh, what's the word, natural, natural, uh, naturally occurring vitamins. They don't like synthetic vitamins. Our body requires the vitamins made from plants and animals that we use from food, not the types made in a laboratory. Mm -hmm. Your cheapest discount store brands are synthetic vitamins. They are not nearly as helpful as naturally occurring holistic vitamins. Mm -hmm. Okay? Well, I know you've spent years um, developing a vitamin program, and you used vitamins 
for years in your practice before they were popular, really way I, back when there weren't that many brands even available. You were writing out separate entities yes. for people to go buy because I, I you thought they the needed to be on this story. list. And this is, uh, this is truthful, folks. When I first started in practice, I took over a very busy practice, 30, 40 patients every day. And four out of five of these patients came in with colds, flus, bronchitis, infectious diseases over and over. They'd have four or five bouts a year. And I thought, this doesn't make sense. These people are not mm -hmm. taking care of themselves. So I created a little plan for them, a list of vitamins to take. Just a basic plan, some vitamin C, vitamin E, a good multiple vitamin. And zinc, I remember and that zinc. was And zinc, add a little there. zinc because that's mm -hmm. your immunity mineral. And over the course of two years, after giving this out to hundreds of patients, the practice number dwindled down to 10 patients a day. I wasn't seeing colds and flu anymore. And I said, what's going on? Am I a bad doctor or do I have bad breath? Do I need to change deodorant? You know, I'm a, I'm a young doctor. I'm like, what's right. going on? And one day I was uh, taking care of a young man who'd broken his ankle. And his mother said to me, you know, Dr. Becker, a year and a half ago, I came to you for bronchitis. I had it over and over. I was so tired of it. You put me on a program and I haven't had it since. And I realized my methods were working. I was paying an economical price, wasn't I? The practice was dwindling, but the people were getting well. And so eventually it turned around for us. The people in the community came to realize that Dr. and Mrs. Becker were the doctors who helped you get well, not just treating symptoms. And right. the practice flourished. So it wasn't a problem for us. We became known for another reason. Now, folks, we're headed to a break. But when we would come back, I want to give you the key features to look for when it's time to buy your vitamin. Is organic worth it? What's this term chelated mean? How about the synthetic vitamins? Should they be organic source? How about a powder or pressed pill? Is a liquid best? And should we be putting sugar and flavoring agents in our vitamins? All of this we're going to talk about. Honey, it made such a difference in our practice. It sure I did. know it will make a difference in our viewing audience if they'll just give it a try for a month or two. Folks, we'll be back after these important messages.